Here's an amazing gem in the story of God for Jesus equals 888. One of the most famous lines in the entire New Testament is the announcement of Jesus Christ onto the scene <clears throat> by John the Baptist, and that is the phrase, Behold the Lamb of God. Now he spoke that phrase in Hebrew to all of the Jewish people. And so we look at what he spoke in Hebrew to see the mathematical glory to Jesus equals 888. Because John the Baptist was filled with the Holy Spirit from his mother's womb, we are told, and the Holy Spirit always glorifies Jesus when he speaks. And so John the Baptist spoke words that glorify Jesus mathematically by the Holy Spirit, just as the entire Bible does. So he says, Behold the Lamb of God. Here is the Hebrew. Here is the exact Hebrew. And I don't want to Let's take this one step at a time here, level one first. Here is the exact Hebrew that he spoke. Behold the Lamb of God. That's what he spoke of Jesus Christ. The announcement of Jesus Christ onto the scene. This is so epic, the fact that this is mathematically brilliant. This adds exactly to 456. Wow. This number is incredibly glorious. First of all, it divides by 8 perfectly, to the glory of Jesus, equals 888. Furthermore, it divides by 8 times 57. 57 is also 7n plus 1, just like 8. Both 7n plus 1 numbers, which means, of course, 456 is also 7n plus 1. And you will see that more and more as you continue to watch all of these gems. All 7n plus 1 numbers, God number series. <clears throat> the number of the over and above. Behold the Lamb of God. Now, furthermore, this gets, furthermore, 456 divides by all of 8 and 12 and 24 to the glory of Jesus equals 888. Divides by, and I'm just going to get some more, here's, here's the 7n plus 1 fact. 12 divides by 8, 12, 24. Bing, 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 to the glory of Jesus equals 8, which divides by 8, 12, and 24. And finally, watch this. This will really blow your mind here. 456 equals 8 times 19 times 3. You break apart the 57. Well, what is 19? 19 is our famous 8th prime. It's 8 times the 8th prime tripled. See that? So now we have 8 times 8th tripled. 8 times 8th plus 8 times 8th. So there you have it. A triple of 8 times the 8th prime. That is genius from on high. That is literal genius from God himself. Ordained for the glory of Jesus equals 888. John the Baptist, speaking the most famous words, or some of the most famous beginning words in the New Testament by announcing Jesus Christ onto the scene. It's like the, the stage announcer saying, He has arrived. What, what statement could possibly be more epic and what statement could possibly be more loaded mathematically to introduce the Son of God onto the scene? <clears throat> so, behold the Lamb of God. Here it is. If you want, you can speak these words for yourself by learning uh, Hebrew. And it is an exceedingly mathematically glorious phrase. That's the main thing to take away. This is John the Baptist, filled with the Holy Spirit, spoke in Hebrew an exceedingly mathematically glorious phrase, just like Jesus does all through his ministry, and just like the entire Bible does, and all the prophets speak mathematically gloriously to the glory of this one number, Jesus equals 888. And yes, his name in Hebrew is completely loaded with eight as well. He is Jehovah, which the three glyph root of Jehovah, go to the root for the truth, is 16, which is a double of eight. All the way through the Bible, screaming the number eight to the glory of Jesus equals eight at eight. And this, look at that. Just appreciate the mathematical artistry of God. That is what this is. This is the most intelligent mathematician and the most skilled artist in the universe showing off the best of both worlds. Mathematical artistry to glorify the number 8 and d doing it in the most dazzling w ways with the law of prime, 
thrown in here to show off a triple a triple of 8 times the 8th prime 1 2 3 Jesus equals 8 at 8 1 2 3 just unbelievable skill the whole thing divides by 8 12 and 24 just like Jesus equals 8 at 8 everything points to this one number everything culminates in this one number triple 8 this is all to the glory of God and the glory of Jesus so behold the Lamb of God the first words of John the Baptist spoken about Jesus Christ when he saw him for the first time what moment could be more epic than that and folks when you realize that God is a better movie director and script writer than Steven Spielberg and Peter Jackson and the likes of every single person who has ever lived you understand that the script of God's movie this is a movie God's movie playing out according to his perfect direction and plan here are the actors here is the superstar here is the C the hero of the whole story Jesus equals 888 this is God's movie playing out in perfect script and here is the first time that the great prophet John the Baptist whose life was ordained to introduce the Messiah this is the first time that he sees him sees the Messiah who he was born to introduce and the words out of his mouth by the perfect ordained script of God are behold the Lamb of God which is exactly 456 in Hebrew and glorifies the triple eight King of Kings and Lord of Lords absolutely to the highest degree and the most insane mathematical brilliance possible so the story of God and the brilliance of God and the script of God surpasses all intelligence by a factor of infinity there is not a single script or lang or teaching on earth that has every single letter equal to a number and those those words constantly add up to glorify the hero of the story this is the greatest story ever told ever written because it's ordained by God and all of it is for the glory of Jesus Christ Son of God our Lord hallelujah hallelujah is anyone liking this this is epic behold the Lamb of God this is the mathematical proof of the story of God the mathematical glories of the entire Bible and all of creation and the universe this is the voice of the mathematical proof of the glory of God in his word and let us worship the king for his incredible brilliance and uh, behold the Lamb of God behold the Lamb of God I would encourage you to learn how to speak that in Hebrew so you can really get a feel for the epicness of uh, of what it sounds like and furthermore again very many phrases very many strong phrases will end in a letter that divides by eight or an entire word that divides by eight and of course so this entire phrase behold the Lamb of God ends in 40 uh, it ends in 40 the more the, once you know you're looking at a perfect set of letters by the mind of God take spend a little time and see what else is in there it ends in 40 which is an all factor eight number that divides by eight perfectly that's like a giant period and God ordained the Hebrew language to have many uh, of its final letters in sentences and such key places to end with a letter that is stamped with eight to the glory of his son Jesus equals triple eight and of course uh, the root of Elohim as we proved elsewhere uh, the three glyph root of Elohim is 37 the glory of Jesus equals 8 at 8 equals 37 times 8 times 3 and uh, on and on and on just keep watching and enjoying all these videos behold the Lamb of God wow that's amazing totally amazing totally totally amazing behold the Lamb of God mathematically the the, the big thing oh my goodness once you once you get this this key fact folks the the treasure just opens up before your eyes on mass Jesus spoke in Hebrew and he spoke mathematically gloriously in Hebrew and so did John the Baptist and so you can recover the original words of Jesus spoken in Hebrew and as you analyze them you see him constantly mathematically glorifying himself in all that he spoke 
That is a profound truth and a profound revelation. Jesus spoke in Hebrew to all of the Jewish people. He was sent first and foremost to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And he, was, and he spoke mathematically gloriously because he has to. He's God. He has to maximize the amount of glory that he brings to himself. Hallelujah. And uh, keep watching all these videos as we look at the words of Jesus, the very words of the Son of God, God incarnate, which he spoke in Hebrew to the masses. We unearth the mathematical glories of his word that are so loaded with eights to his own glory. This whole story is, is, is all knit together mathematically to glorify this one number. Jesus equals triple eight. So keep watching these videos and marvel at the intelligence of God. And I just love this one. I love that God loves drama. This is a literal movie, folks. This, this whole story of the universe is a movie. Every day God keeps creating new things and doing new things to mathematically glorify his son. And once you have your eyes open to it, you get literally invited into the inside, if you will, to, to, to see what God does mathematically in all the earth to continue to glorify his son. And I just, I love even this portrait here. I love this scene, um, this drama. This is, this is actually what happened in the movie of God. That this man spoke Hebrew words in, in great volume and authority, I'm sure. Saying, Behold the Lamb of God. The first time they ever saw the Messiah walking towards them. He says, Behold the Lamb of God. He spoke that in Hebrew. He says it twice. He says it twice, when he sees him the first time, and then when he sees him the second time. Because he knows, <laughs> just by the Spirit of God, he speaks perfect Hebrew words that make this perfect, gorgeous total. To the glory of Jesus equals eight to eight. If you remove even one letter from this statement, you don't get anything. You don't get anything so glorious. But it's by divine ordinance. The entire story of God is for one man mathematically it is all mathematically uh, diggable and amazing to the glory of Jesus equals A today keep watching all these videos behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world he is the Messiah he is the one who has power to take away your sin call upon him today the Bible says if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved and you will go to heaven when you die Amen. Hallelujah. That is the promise of God to you and to every single person on earth. Amen.